Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. To me, he is so wonderful. To me, he is so wonderful. To me, he is so wonderful. Just to know that Jesus is mine. Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sharing a scripture with you from Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Lord's speaking to us about obedience right now. We have got to obey the Lord. Verse 21, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. I was thinking about <clears throat> Saul when he went out in war, and the Lord had told him after he conquered that they were not to keep anything. They weren't to take the spoil from that group. But um, he disobeyed. And when the prophet Samuel asked him about it, he told Saul, he said, uh, why did you do this? The Lord told you not to do it, and Saul blamed it on the people under him. He said, well, because of the people. And then he tried to make it sound like he was doing it for God by saying, we sacrificed, we had that sacrifice of the animals for the Lord. But that's not what the Lord told him to do. He said, don't take any of that spoil, and we can't, we do. We try to rationalize why we disobey, but there was no rationalization for it. And uh, Samuel told him, obedience is better than sacrifice. You know, if we obey the Lord, we don't have to turn around and repent and go through all these other motions. We're just staying right with the Lord when we obey the first time out. And the Lord needs us to obey. And we need to repent where we failed to obey, where we failed to quickly respond when the Lord has asked us to do something. When he quickens our spirit and prompts us, we get the thought to do something for someone. We need to follow through on that. The Lord is leading us and directing us. We may not see the whole big picture he sees, but we just keep taking those steps of faith and... Uh, this is how we become sons and daughters of God. We obey the Lord. So we're more than servants when we obey the Lord. We're the friend of God. And we're sons and daughters. And we do want to be that. There's great privilege in that. And uh, there's just more and more that can be revealed to us when we obey God. It's kind of like when you disobey the Lord. You don't go forward. The Lord can't. He doesn't even come to tell you to do anything else. He's going to wait till you obey that last step. And if you're just not obeying that last step, you're going to sit there and you're going to think, I'm not hearing from the Lord. <clears throat> exactly. He can't tell us the next thing when we haven't obeyed the last thing that he told us to do. And I hope that made sense. I'm repenting of all the times I've missed the Lord and uh, just praying for his help that he'll help us to do this so that we can please the Lord but also so we don't miss opportunities right now to save a soul to be a part of saving a soul obedience is better than sacrifice Jesus loves you so much if you haven't given your heart to him call on the name of the Lord Jesus was the Son of God. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And the only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. 
Acts 2.38 tells you to repent, to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Prayers over each one of you. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Be blessed.